Well, I think that's rather easy um, for an unprepared uh, listener, for somebody who is not a musician. I think the thing they find in Chopin music is very simply beauty, uh, aesthetical and spiritual beauty. Um, of course it goes much further than that, but I think um, as there are, there are very, very, very few composers um, who will, as, as soon as, as long as the Western civilization survives, the, the music of these composers will be alive, or even if the concert life stops, even if the recording industry stops, the people will always listen to the music of very, very few composers, and Chopin is definitely one of them. The instrument, for example, the piano of, of the middle of 19th century, or in case of Viennese music earlier, at least will tell you what is not possible. Because a modern Steinway gives, you, gives such a magnitude of dynamic, uh, and not only dynamic, but you can go too far in the wrong direction very easily. And then there is a certain safety, because the old instrument will tell you, there you are wrong. But it's not the most important, it's just one of the factors. But um, in case of the romantic instruments, and, and, and this piano, for example, which, which I played on today, is just a very, very beautiful instrument, which has a lot of advantages over a modern standard, because as the history progressed, everything was sacrificed for the volume, for getting louder. Not only pianos, but violins, wind instruments, brass instruments, everything. And as the concert halls grew bigger, uh, there was a need for louder instruments and people did not immediately realize that while gaining something they were also losing something and that's why finally the need came to play on the old instruments because there, there were too much which was lost. I think the most important thing is to not only to play on historical instrument but also to try to inform as much as possible and today at our age there is not an excuse anymore, anymore not to be informed because there magnitude of sources available and you don't even have to go to the library anymore it's very often enough to sit in front of your own computer and i think there is not an excuse anymore not to be not to try to be historically informed but then of course when you get the luxury of playing on on period instruments it of course makes it it's also it's a it's a very agreeable thing to do I have to start a little bit far because um, I've, I've played the Chopin Concerto today here actually for the very first time in my life and it was not an accident that I didn't play this music before, maybe I was a bit too afraid of it and then when um, Stasiek Leszczynski asked me to come and play this I just could not refuse it of course uh, because it's probably... it can be a biggest day for any pianist and biggest honor to come here to this country and to play this music in this hall for this audience. It's a great honor and I was extremely nervous and afraid and then after the general rehearsal which I thought went relatively well somehow I saw Stasek whom I appreciate and respect like very few people and, and he told me what I was doing wrong in Chopin and, and the question about musical language and that basically made me even more nervous and then I was uh, adjusting my score a little bit with a very sharp knife and I basically cut away a piece of my finger and of course it was very hard because I knew I cannot cancel this concert because um, it's, it, it basically happened three hours before the concert and it it's just impossible, it's an opening concert and. And I thought, okay, if this had to happen, it had to happen, so it has to be even much harder. And it was very hard, of course, and of course I didn't play in the way I wanted to play. But at least I hope we could avoid a big scandal of, of a cancellation of this concert, and some of it was probably a little bit acceptable. And um, anyway, I could see a very warm reaction of the audience, and that will be definitely a day I will remember, that's for sure, yes.